here is how to set up your own custom domain name with iCloud. Welcome everybody to Apple Insider. It is Andrew here, and you can find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU. When Apple took the stage this year at WWDC, it neglected to reveal a big feature coming to iCloud. As part of iCloud Plus that includes other features like improved HomeKit camera support and private relay, Apple is giving users the ability to use their own custom domain names with iCloud. So if you own birdfancier.com, you could create your own email, andrew at birdfancier.com, and that is totally possible. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can do that. It is very easy to do, so let's go ahead and jump into this. But really fast, before we do, this is still in beta, so not everything may function properly and things could possibly change by the time that this is fully revealed to the public. But right now it is possible to do, it's just in beta. So just take that into consideration as you test this out. Let's go ahead and dive into this whole thing. Real quick, before we get into the whole rest of this video, I have to thank our sponsor for this video, Setapp. I can't be the only one that struggles sometimes with getting things done. And when you're on your Mac or your iPhone, part of getting those tasks done is making sure you have the right apps for the job. Setup is on a mission to help users get more done. And there's no more worrying about trying to find the right app to get a certain task accomplished. No joke, Setup has over 200 apps for both Mac as well as iPhone. There's an app for almost any task. You can search for a specific app or the task that you're trying to do right in the Setup and you'll see a bunch of options to help you get that job done. With Setup, you can think about tasks and not which apps you need to find. It's also an incredible value. I used to buy so many apps for my Mac and my iPhone, but with Setup, there's over 200 available across both platforms that help me get those jobs done. I can just search for something and boom, there it is. I can pay a one monthly fee to get access to all of these apps as long as I have the subscription. I don't have to go and buy individual apps anymore when I have set up. Set up is also a great value. I cannot tell you how many apps I've bought for my Mac and my iPhone uh, whenever I need to do some one random task. And with set up, I can pay 10 bucks a month and have access to over 200 of these apps across both devices. So I can just search for the task I need to do and find an app that'll get the job done. Literally thousands of dollars worth of apps for 10 bucks a month. And new apps come in constantly. I love getting a little notification on the little corner of my screen saying, oh, this app has been added to Setapp. And I can click into it and I can see like a, you know, a version of the app store inside of Setapp. And I can see all these pictures and descriptions of what it does. And if I wanna use it, I can just download it to my machine and boom, I can start using it just like I bought it. All for that single $10 price. If you wanna try Setapp for yourself, and you should, you can head over to setapp.com and sign up now. You get a one week free trial of all of these apps. Uh, and if you like it, you can continue for only $9.99 a month, 10 bucks a month over 200 apps across Mac and iPhone. To start, we're gonna head to beta.icloud.com. Basically the beta version of Apple's web portal for iCloud. We're gonna go ahead and then sign in there. And in my case, of course, I've got two factor authentication turned on. I'm gonna go ahead and approve this hear it pop up right on my Apple Watch, which is super handy. Once we've authenticated, we can trust or not trust the browser, just depending on what computer you're using at the time that you're doing it. Uh, and here we are. So I'm all signed into my uh, iCloud account. Do not judge my unread emails. It's basically a lost cause at this point. So just, I don't wanna hear you guys coming up with SAS in the comments. Once we've logged in, we're gonna click on account settings right there in the center. Once we pull this up, we will scroll down below all of our devices. We have hide my email and we have custom email domain. That is what we're looking for. Before you get into this, you do need to make sure that you own the domain. You can't just use any domain that you want. You actually have to own it because we will have to update uh, the records on our domain registrar's website. So if you don't own the domain, go out and buy the domain that you want. Head to GoDaddy or any other you know, source that you like, buy the domain and then you can go ahead and move forward with this. But assuming you own it, we're gonna go ahead and add it here to iCloud. And as it says, you need an iCloud Plus subscription. Then you can send and receive emails using that custom domain. Let's go ahead and click on Manage. We're gonna see a little window pop up and then we've got two different options. We have only for you, only for me, or the entire family. 
See, I have a family sharing iCloud account, which means I share things like my subscriptions to Apple TV Plus and Apple Music and my iCloud storage with my entire family. So my wife and I are on here. So if I had like at O'Hara.com, I may want to share that with my wife and I. But in this case, uh, we're just going to do it just for me. So you can share with the whole family or do it just for you. I'm going to go ahead and put in my domain here. Now, I don't want to use my actual domain for the video. So instead, I'm just going to make one up. How about applelover.com? That means I, I love Apple, to be clear. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and hit continue. And it's going to add that domain to my iCloud. But we're not done yet. So we first now need to add uh, emails for that iCloud account. So what emails do I want to receive emails from? So in this case, maybe I want to do just Andrew at applelover.com. So I can add that one. And you can add multiple emails here as well. So if you want to add maybe in my case, Andrew at applelover.com, um, Andrew.O'Hara at applelover.com, that would all be possible. So then it's going to go ahead and ask me to verify that email address. And then once we've done that, we need to update the domain registrar's settings. Updating your registrar is easy and Apple does have a quick help document to walk you through the entire process that it will email to you, but I can link it down below in the comments to make it even easier. You just need to update the MX, TXT, and CNAME records with that domain registrar. So follow the instructions on that document and change everything to what Apple is asking for. And then once you follow those instructions, you're good to go to verify everything. And that's it. Once you've gone ahead and gotten that confirmation email to verify your email address, you can move forward and finish the setup here. It'll go ahead and check everything, make sure your registrar is set up correctly and make sure all your emails are sending and receiving correctly. And you now have set up your own custom domain inside of iCloud. It is super easy to do. Uh, if you don't own a domain, go out and pick up one now and you can use that as your own email while still using iCloud. This is a huge benefit. Gmail and others have had this option for a long time. So it's great that Apple is finally bringing this feature to iCloud and I'm shocked that Apple did not share more about this at its DubDub keynote. Let me know what you guys think. Find me on Twitter at Andrew underscore OSU and stay tuned. We got a whole lot more content coming.